Hey guys, Greg C96 here today with two somethings new. So the first something new is obviously this game, Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. This is an awesome game I want to start. And my idiot self should be clicking on new game anytime now to load up a new game. The other new thing here, you'll notice I kind of addressed myself like that. Um, I have to do a voiceover commentary on this game. So I've been playing the game silently and I'm here afterwards in editing, recording this game. Because the audio options in this game are very, very limiting. And what I mean by that is I can turn music on or off, and I only have a very bare slider for audio. And for some reason, when I'm recording, Fraps likes to make my voice really quiet when the game is loud. So, haven't figured that out. So what I'm just going to do instead is post-commentate these videos, because it's just going to be two series, this one and years 5 through 7, and I maybe the LEGO Movie video game. Spoiler alert, that's coming down the path too. So I am here afterwards commentating. We have here the scene that starts it all with some LEGO humor when Hagrid drops Harry. Well, he doesn't drop Harry, he drops Harry off at the Dursley household. And now chaos ensues for the next couple of years till Hagrid inevitably steals him back. So, uh, that is the game so far. Now I'm going to stop talking about the game a little bit. Uh, so this is Wednesday's upload. Yesterday on my channel you saw an episode of the GNL show go up. What the GNL show is, is it's Greg and Liberty. It's... A podcast, but it's not really a podcast because there's a video in the background and we talk about what's going on in the game a little bit. We're doing a podcast while playing a game. So for the most part, you can listen to it without watching the video, but we also give you something to watch too if you want to watch it. Uh, yesterday's, we were just uh, messing around on a private server and then I went and played on some Hypixel. We just talked about stuff like Bitcoins and flying cars and Facebook being a waste of scammers. So, that was that. It was an hour-long video. Um, I hope you've watched it by now, but I don't blame you if you haven't. But you should go check it out anyways. So this cutscene is very, very, very long. I think it's like a three-minute cutscene. It's almost over, though. Don't worry. Now Haggard gives Harry another letter, and then he steals Harry back. And they just walk away, and Harry's like, Okay, you're a stranger. You can take me. It's fine. And they come into London, and I'll spare you all my British accent, because it's horrible. Uh, they come to the Leaky Cauldron, and this is where the journey truly begins. Three minutes into the video is when we finally get some gameplay. Awesome. So, of course, at this point, because I've just taken Harry, Harry is totally, totally useless. So, basically, I have to do everything as Hagrid because he actually has magical powers. It's not till later on that I learn some spells. I don't even have a wand yet, so I can't do anything. Uh, at this point, I'm just kind of running around looking for coins. So, we get to watch me run around here grabbing coins. Or, not coins, studs, my bad. So, you'll notice though, in this level, I kind of seem like a pro and know exactly what I'm doing. That's because I've had to re-record this level like four, five, six different times. Because actually, I did a live commentary on a different platform so that I could put the audio in later and fix the sound levels. But what happened with the... Oh, look at that. There's a ramp there that I didn't even notice. So I didn't get everything on this level, obviously. But, so anyways... I've tried recording this a bunch of times because of the fact that I've uploaded it once already, playing the game and commentating afterwards. But what happened is I didn't know where the audio settings were, so I just left the game audio all the way up, which is why I recorded it on a different platform. But when I put it up, before I even made the video go public for you guys to see, I got a content ID claim on some of the songs in the game from Warner Music Group telling me, oh, hey, even though this is a game we licensed, you know, the music is not okay to be used. So I decided, screw it, take it down, turn off all the music in the game, we'll just get the game sounds. 
And that's what I did. <laughs> and here I found out that Hagrid can hide in a barrel and walk around like that. I find it, I found it funny, amusing. I didn't know if he could do anything special while he was in the barrel. I found out he couldn't, but I found it amusing. <laughs> so yeah, enough of that crap. Time to keep going. Get more coins and build more things. Made this cool little broom bot thing that just walks around sweeping. That's cool. I grab more coins and eventually I do the objective. Woo! It's Quirrell. It's a person I don't recognize, and another one, and Malfoy. And now I grab a spider to put into the potion. And then I grab a flower to put into the potion. And then I switch back to Hagrid. And then I make that thing float, and I get an ice cream bar to put into the potion, because they had ice cream carts in Diagon Alley. Totally accurate. And now we come up on, like, the actual part of the level where we're in Gringotts Bank. Oh, and I found this spring thing. Boing, 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 boing. And eventually I get up to that shell, uh, that top layer. Yeah. I got some coins. Woo. Ah, and now I go into the bank. Gringotts. But I need Hagrid to pull on the heavy chain to let me in. So, enough about talking about the game, because you're just going to see me doing some um, stud harvesting here for a little bit. What's going on in the future? I plan to do a full playthrough of the story of this game, which should be wicked fun. Um, all of the big box of gamers people are going to be recording more. So it's time to check them out, because apparently YouTube recently changed their terms. And if you're not uploading at least three videos a week, well, you're just not even going to show up in searches. From my understanding, for example, if I didn't upload three videos every week, at minimum, if you search Gracie 96 Gaming, I wouldn't even be a result. So, ugh. If my interpretation of that is correct, which it might not be, I make no promises. <laughs> now I remember I have to change that. But anyways, I make no promises that my interpretation is correct. However, if it is, um, that means that, you know, we all have to start really pushing. And it seems like a really screwy system. So, I guess we're going to see what happens there. I can promise I'll be doing my three videos a week minimum. Probably going to be more like four or five. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, also in the future on this channel, I'll kind of talk about this now while I'm just stud harvesting, is I'm going to start doing some programming tutorials. I'm going to start doing a weekly vlog. Maybe, actually. Because I don't know if I'm that interesting to do something every week. So we'll see about that. Um, I'm going to start up a new series that a video is going to come out tomorrow for this... Ugh, God. The video is going to come out tomorrow for this new series. Um, it's a game called Fistful of Frags. I think it's run off of the Counter-Strike engine. So the same engine that Gary's Mod is run off of. Because, you know, Gary's Mod, the hidden, um, you know, all that stuff is run off of the Counter-Strike engine. Counter-Strike Source Engine, which I believe is what Fistful of Frags was originally off of, and then it became a standalone game, and I heard about it, and it was free, and I got it. And it's a really fun game. Basically, you just go around fragging people, shooting them, doing whatever. And that's a new series I'm going to start with at least Liberty, but all of us who have played the game is a pretty fun game. We're trying to figure out how to privately host a server for that game so I can set it up and we don't have to worry about bots, because they can be somewhat annoying. So we'll be doing some of that, um, we'll be doing some of some other stuff, which is going to also be fun and exciting and new. So here I'm just wasting more time collecting more studs instead of just opening the lock like I should be, but it's okay. So guys, at this point, while we're doing this, I ask if you stick through, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment and a favorite down below. It really helps the channel grow. 
Uh, also, check out the Big Box of Gamers channel, link in the description there. All the guys on there are pretty cool, and we're all about to start getting really active doing YouTube, because like I said, the new terms, it's kind of motivation. I know for Liberty and Griffin anyways, it's motivation. I think it's motivation for Noel, because Noel wanted to just start afresh recently, and I think he is starting afresh. And then Sam over at the Destiny Gaming channel, I know he's going to start afresh soon if college doesn't interfere with that. And I believe he's talking about a new sp channel called Spam Johnson. So, everyone's kind of motivated now, and hopefully this little uh, new YouTube term will be extra motivation for everybody. So I'm doing more stud harvesting and just getting everything done beforehand, and finally we'll see the vault scene that everyone loves. When Harry finds out he's rich. So some more stuff coming down the channel in the future is... Obviously more Minecraft, more Left 4 Dead 2 with Liberty and Griffin. Uh, I'm going to try to revive some old series, because there's a few series I did like one or two videos then just stopped, which is not, I don't know, some of them were awful and I won't revive them, while others I'm going to try to revive the series. So we'll figure out in the future what videos those are going to be. I'm going to continue with Track State, Trackmania Stadium. I'll probably stop with Trackmania Nations forever, like I kind of did for a while. Anyways, <laughs> I love this scene. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, so we will see where that goes with all the old series. I'm going to start some new series, obviously. Like, this one's a new series. Fistful of Frags is a new series. Um, coming down the pipeline soon, once we figure out how to set up the server for it, Liberty and I are going to be doing a multiplayer 7 Days to Die Let's Play. We're probably going to die a bunch and scream, because both of us are really bad with horror games, and it's mildly a horror game. So that'll be interesting, to say the least. Also, I'm probably going to start with some programming tutorials, because I realized that people would actually appreciate that. I realized that this past week, I was at... One of the reasons I haven't been posting as much lately is I've just been busy, and as soon as I get home, I've been tired. Ugh, I'm still tired. I've been a mentor at a robotics camp, specifically Vex Robotics, for the past three weeks. And a student there, two students actually, were looking for some uh, C++ tutors. So I talked about it, and I said maybe I'd do it. And I thought about it, and I was like, hey, why don't I just make videos of it? That way, A, it's free tutoring for them, which is awesome, because, you know, money is great, but I can't really because I'm not really a professional teacher. I don't understand how personally I can justify being like, okay, pay me this much and I'll teach you to program. I'd much rather just do videos to share my knowledge. So I'll probably do like C, C++, Java, some of the 14 languages that I know that I think I can actually teach people. So we'll try that. If you guys aren't interested, just let me know. But I probably won't stop them. If you are interested, let me know. Or if you want another language in the future, if you've liked my tutorials that I'll be putting up, let me know too. Because, well, I can always, you know, I, like I said, I know like 15 different languages. I can probably teach some stuff. Uh, now Harry finally gets less useless. Because he finally gets a wand, and that's the right one, even though they all look the same. But Harry's still useless because he hasn't learned anything yet. Yay! <laughs> this scene made me laugh when we played the game, and I played the game first, too. <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up. I am a great, powerful <laughs> wizard. <laughs> And that is it for the first episode, guys. Like I said, like, comments, and favorites down below are awesome. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You know you want to. It really helps the channel grow. And you can check out all my links below for my Twitch, my Facebook, and my Twitter. I do stream more often than I used to now, mostly with Noel and Liberty. Streaming's a fun time. And all my Twitter and my Facebook will obviously tell when I'm going to stream. I don't really do the YouTube uploads for streaming. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next time.